Inflation has hit a nearly 40-year high. You're paying 7% more everyday items compared to a year ago, especially feeling it at the grocery store and especially at the gas pump. But as CBS 4's Danya Backus explains, the Federal Reserve is prepared to tackle inflation. A trip to the grocery store can be a case of feast or famine. Many shelves are full, but others are empty. Some of the cereals were missing. Some of the pasta. Salsa. Omicron infections are putting more stress on the already fragile supply chain. Because of warehouse shortages, because of truck driver shortages, you know, companies are either shipping partial orders, not shipping orders at all. And items that are in stock often cost more. Prices are off the charts. A government report shows beef prices are up 18 percent. Eggs are 11 percent more. And it's not only food, just about everything we buy, from used cars to furniture, is more expensive. At the gas pump, prices jumped almost 50% in one year. So you have a smaller car. I have a very small car, and it's almost, what, $60 to fill it up. Experts believe the prices will remain high in the coming months. Committee of the chairman of the Federal Reserve says he may raise interest rates to slow inflation. We will use our tools to support the economy and a strong labor market and to prevent higher inflation from becoming entrenched. In the near term, prices remain high. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says action from the Fed could eventually rein in prices. March, things should start to come down and slide throughout the rest of the year. But right now, consumers will continue to pay more. Donya Back is CBS News, Los Angeles.